Hey everyone, it is Spoonful for you, back at you again with another video, and today I am doing a brand new Br'er Rabbit fan fiction for all of you Splash Mountain fans. Now, Br'er Rabbit is one of my favorite characters, and today he is fishing in his village. Now, Br'er Rabbit is an expert fisherman. However, he's a rabbit. He doesn't like eating the fish, he likes just fishing for them and throwing them back. He thinks it's a lot of fun because he has the heart and the soul of a child um, trapped in a rabbit's body. So Br'er Rabbit, you know, he loves fishing. Whoosh, he fishes, he whoosh, fishes, and he fishes every day. He keeps fishing and he loves it, catching the fish. Um, well, one day Br'er Rabbit goes down to the, to the lake in the um, in his town, his little village, and he has this map, this little scroll of all the fish in that lake. So Br'er Rabbit sets a challenge up for himself to catch all the fish in the lake. Well, unfortunately, Br'er Fox shows up and starts giving Br'er Rabbit trouble. You shouldn't catch the fish and throw them back, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox says. Br'er Fox says that, you know, Br'er Rabbit should keep the fish and eat the fish and put them in a pot, cook them in a pot and have them for dinner. Fish soup. However, Br'er Rabbit talks to the stubborn fox and he tells him that, you know what, fish, they have souls too, just like the rabbit, just like the fox, just like all the animals. And you don't always have to catch them and eat them. Sometimes it's just about having fun. Br'er Fox, unfortunately, doesn't listen. And he throws his rod out, catches a fish, and immediately gulps it down. Unfortunately, Br'er Rabbit is disgusted at Br'er Fox. And he decides to teach the fox a little bit about his fishing style. Well, Br'er Rabbit gives Br'er Fox his fishing rod. It's a lot smaller than Br'er Fox's. And Br'er Fox throws it out. Why am I doing it your way, Br'er Fox says. And Br'er Rabbit smiles. Because Br'er Rabbit thinks his way is the way to go. Having fun, throwing the rod out there, catching the fish, and then throwing the fish back. Br'er Fox does this. He does it over and over and over. And his lust for that fish is growing. That hunger for that fish is growing. But he listens. He throws the fish back and he listens to Br'er Rabbit. It seems as everything is going well. It seems as if Br'er Fox is actually respecting Br'er Rabbit. Um, but eventually Br'er Rabbit goes and gets a carrot. He comes back and Br'er Fox is eating the fish once again. Br'er Fox is starving at this point. Br'er Rabbit goes over there and scolds Br'er Fox. Why would you eat this fish, says Br'er Rabbit. Well, Br'er Fox reveals that he's a carnivore. He's a meat eater. And this is what Br'er Fox is supposed to do. He's supposed to catch the fish and eat the fish, because if he doesn't eat the fish, he will starve. He also tells Br'er Rabbit that as a child, as a little fox, Br'er Fox's father taught Br'er Fox how to fish and catch the fish for survival. At first, Br'er Rabbit is confused. He's baffled at this story. But then he realizes that not everybody's the same. Not everybody is brought up the same. Not everybody has the same opinions. And he realizes that Br'er Fox, he's different from Br'er Rabbit. But they both have the same love. They both have the same respect for fishing. So Br'er Rabbit sits down with Br'er Fox and apologizes. The two fish, Br'er Rabbit catches the fish and throws them back. Br'er Fox catches the fish and eats them. But both of them together spend the rest of the day together as the sun sets and the fishing day comes to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this new Br'er Rabbit fan fiction. And goodbye. 
Bye, everyone.